What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are diving into a video series that we typically do every few months here on the channel and I feel like it's been a little while since we've done one of these. I want to say it was maybe right after Wrestlemania at the Superstore last year we did this and today we're going to be diving into a buy or pass and this is where we're going to be covering a lot of figures that are going to be coming in 2024. Maybe some of these figures you don't know about. Maybe you know about all of them but we're going to be going through each individual figure and I'm going to be diving into whether you need to buy it, whether you need to pass it, give you just some different opinions on it and on why you may want it and why maybe you want to skip it. So we're going to dive into those things here today, man. But we have a long list of figures, man. We're going to start off with our Ultimate Edition figures and then we'll dive into our Elites. I do believe I have every single figure on here that we know about that is not yet confirmed or we haven't, you know what I'm saying? It's been in the pipeline. So we'll see about those things, man. But if I forget a figure or whatever, man, let me know down in the comment section below. If it's already been released and what have you, then I'm not going to cover it here. Like Elite 107 or something like that. Not going to be talking about that. Ultimate Edition Series 20. You get the point. Things that are yet to be released, we're going to be talking about it here today, man. But nonetheless, let's shut the hell up, dive into it. Starting out with our Ultimate Editions Buyer Pass, man. Starting out first, we have the Ringside Exclusive WCW Ultimate Edition Ring with Eric Bischoff figure. I love this set. I think it's awesome. Now, you guys know that we saw this back with the Attitude Era with the Kane Raw as War Ring. That was a great set as well. Ended up being Mattel Creations exclusive and whatnot. This is very similar, but we do get an Ultimate Edition Eric Bischoff figure. And for me, this is a buy. I think this is a great buy. I am very much looking forward to this. I know we have a ton of rings, all right? If you could get this in the aftermarket and you didn't want the ring, I just feel like you're going to end up paying for the Bischoff. You're going to end up paying for what you would pay for the whole set. And maybe you could get the ring with the Bischoff and then sell the ring or something like that. Maybe sell something along with it. Because I just I just don't think you're going to be able to get this Eric Bischoff without paying the amount that you're going to pay for the full set aftermarket. So if I were you, I would definitely cop this. This is a must cop for me. I love Eric Bischoff. I actually got to meet him this past weekend at Royal Rumble. And I love Eric Bischoff. This is an easy cop for me. You could also turn this guy into a million different people using these jeans and leather jacket and whatnot. So this is an absolute must grab for me personally. Next up, we have the Ringside Exclusive Ultimate Edition 2-Pack with the Outsiders, NWO, Scott Hall and Kevin Nash figures. These look great. This is this is an easy cop right here. I know in the pipeline, I, I really want to talk to Mattel about this because I want to say back in the day, maybe it was like Ultimate Edition 14 or 15 or somewhere in that area. I thought we were supposed to get a Scott Hall and a Kevin Nash and we ended up not getting those. And maybe we'll get those in the main line this year at some point. But these ringside exclusive versions, the Outsiders versions right here, I think this is a must grab as well. You get the WCW Tag Team Championships. You get a slew of accessories, tons of great things going on here. Their first Ultimate Editions in Razor Ramon and the Diesel figures were really good. So I think these are going to be great as well. Great figures going on. I, I like these a lot. These are these are also a buy. I mean, if you don't care, if you have the originals, you know, Ultimate Edition versions, I guess you could pass, but I wouldn't pass up on these. Next up, we're getting into Walmart exclusives. We have the Monday Night Wars Ultimate Editions, and we actually have four different Ultimate Edition Monday Night Wars figures coming. Starting out first, we have Roddy Piper right here. If you have no skin in the game, you don't care about about WCW version of Roddy Piper. It's an easy skip for you, but I uh, this is a must cop for me. This reminds me a lot of the of the Toy Biz days back with the Roddy Piper. It doesn't come with a bagpipe, but it's still very sick. I love this version of Roddy Piper. This is going to absolutely be a cop for me. And I like that we're getting a lot of leather jackets. You got you guys can see this is a reuse. We get some Eric Bischoff leather jacket in here. Maybe an easier way to obtain that leather jacket that you could put on other people. So yeah, this is going to be a must grab for me. I like the Roddy Piper figure a whole lot. This is good stuff right here. We also have a look at the Monday Night Wars Ultimate Edition Bret Hart figure, and I don't know. This is kind of up in the air for me. I don't, I, I don't, I don't particularly care for this figure that much. Again, you're getting that leather jacket again. Look at that. You could easily remove the logo off the back, and you have another leather jacket. So they're definitely getting the reuse out of that leather jacket. It was very popular in the '90s. So we do have this leather jacket here. Do not like the head sculpts on this Bret Hart. And I don't know, man. This is going to be what like our fourth Bret Hart Ultimate. Edition. I don't know. I just, I'm not the biggest fan of this. I would personally probably pass on this, but it just depends on what you have, man. I mean, you could do a head swap. You know, it is the all black look for him. That's, that's going to be up to you there, but there are plenty of Bret Hart Ultimate Editions to choose from. This one is going to be pinless and whatnot, and I, I personally like the all pink. If you're trying to set on one Bret Hart, I would go with the Legends Ultimate in the all pink over the black, but that's, you know, that's just me personally there, but yeah, this, this Bret Hart is what it is. Then we move on to the Ultimate Edition Series two Monday Night War set, which is going to be Eddie Guerrero, and we are getting Mankind. Now, I have very high hopes for these guys. This Eddie Guerrero, this version of Eddie Guerrero, we have not seen a mullet-style Eddie Guerrero in a very long time. We got him back in the Hall of Fame Elite line at Target, and then we also got him 
in the Target Hall of Champions line. So this is going to be a Walmart exclusive, and they have updated this Eddie Guerrero. It's going to be much better than his first go around the the Walmart version, his previous Walmart version with the Ruthless Aggression line. This one is head and shoulders above that one. I would say I think they're going to adjust the skin tone. They're going to make him look way better compared to what his old, other Ultimate looked like. This is a cop. I think this is a copy. We're also getting the correct version of the Cruiserweight Championship here. So this is very good. I like this Eddie Guerrero figure. And then this Mankind figure, man. This Mankind, I think, is going to be ridiculous. Because I think they're going to give him a cloth goods shirt with a cloth goods tie. And I think it's going to look ridiculous. I think this is going to be one of the high hopes. You get that removable mask right there. You have the masked head sculpts, the yelling head sculpt, the WWF title. I think he's going to come, like I said, with a colored shirt, white long sleeve or whatever. Maybe it rolls up the sleeves there. There, and he's going to have the tie. This this figure right here is going to be nuts. This is an absolute must cop for me. And this goes perfectly with your faces of Foley 3-pack. You know, they, they had the one version of Mankind. Now you're going to get a different version of Mankind. So Mick Foley is rolling in the Benjamins today or in this year because he's getting so many damn figures. So this Ultimate Mankind is going to be ridiculous. I very much am looking forward to this one. I am not passing on this one whatsoever. And then we also have the Coliseum Collection Series number 4. We have Jim the Anvil Neidhart and we have Bret Hart here. Another one where I don't really care for the Bret Hart, you know, we do get some unique tag titles here, we get some cool stuff going on with these guys, but I don't know, man, I, I think that a lot of people are going to want the Anvil, but I could be wrong about that, you guys can let me know, but another Bret Hart to add to the Ultimate Edition line, we have a lot of Bret Hart Ultimates, but I'm not really feeling these head sculpts, I feel like the Anvil looks much better than the Bret Hart, you guys can let me know what you think of that down below, but personally, I guess if you were able to get the Jim the Anvil, I, I just don't see how a, a, a situation we're going to be able to get Anvil without getting Bret Hart. So you may just have to buy the set and then maybe you can do something else with your Bret Hart. But this is the Elite 43 version, the Elite 43 and Elite 44 versions of these guys. And these are definite upgrades from those figures. And I would say the Anvil, I mean, Jesus, man, that's a damn good Anvil right there. So I don't know. You, you'll, you'll have to be the judge there, but I don't know. I, I want to split this, this, this set in half, but I know they're going to come together. Together. I just, I'm not really feeling those Bret Hart head sculpts for whatever reason, so I don't know. I guess they're must cop, but I don't know. I, I, I feel bad having to buy both of these when the Anvil definitely stands out better to me personally than the Bret Hart figure. Next up, we do have a Legends Target Exclusive Ultimate Edition, and we're getting into Yokozuna, man. Yokozuna, I know a lot of people are very excited for this figure. I feel like last year, didn't we get an Elite of Yokozuna in the red gear, and we've seen him over the years here. Now, again, this is Ultimate Edition, but I don't feel like you're getting that much added. You're getting some butterfly joints here. You have the chase and the white wrap, and then you have the regular version and the black wrap. Uh, very unique here how they're doing this Ultimate Edition. I know we've seen some chases in the Ultimate Edition line beforehand. The Razor Ramon was the first one that we saw there, and that one made a lot more sense to me. This one, it doesn't make a lot, a whole lot of sense to me, but I guess, you know, it was their way of getting two Yokos out there because they weren't going to release another one. I don't know, but I don't know. I feel like this one's going to be probably hard to come by, but at the same time, I don't know how much that I personally would want this figure because I think his Elite figures are really damn good. I don't know how well this one's going to be able to pose around compared to his elite. His elite's okay, you know. I know you don't buy Yokozuna to pose him around and put on five-star classics, but you do want to be able to get into those, those cool poses and whatnot, but I like the yelling head sculpt and everything like that, but I think I would personally pass on this one just because we've seen Yokozuna Elite figures before. You have his Hall of Fame figure. You have that Royal Rumble figure. The Elite 15 was in the red, but I mean, that was so long ago. So I don't know, man. Maybe it is worth the upgrade right here, but I also forgot we got him in the flashback wave too, right? So we've had quite a few Yokozuna figures. I think I would buy the regular version here and then pass on the chase version of the Yokozuna figure. I don't think you really need like the white wrap versus the black wrap or whatever. I guess it's just Pick, your, pick the attire that you want and then roll with that. Then we also have the Amazon Fan Takeover Rey Mysterio Ultimate Edition. For me personally, I would say pass on this one. It's missing a lot of the details, right? This is supposed to be a Spider-Man gear based on his SmackDown debut. And while it does come with the cloth shirt, I feel like the cloth shirt kind of over, it just kind of swallows him. The towel, you can't really hold the towel that much. It does come with the Cruiserweight Championship, which is cool. And I do like the new mask head sculpt where it's like pulling the mask over the face here. But it's very similar to his Royal Rumble Elite that we got not too long long ago and it's missing this spider-man graphics or it had like a spider on it and a spider web and whatnot and i don't know it missing those details it just kind of i don't know just kind of turns me out it's just not it doesn't stand out for me as an ultimate edition i know a lot of people have been talking about that how ultimate editions have kind of lost their flair they don't really have that really big sentimental value 
to it or it doesn't have that grand moment wrapped around it, which I guess it doesn't necessarily have to. However, I don't know. I just think that the WrestleMania version or the Ruthless Aggression Ultimate was much better than this one. But I don't know. Maybe this figure will blow me away once I get it in hand. But if I were, I think I would personally pass on this one. But I am going to be buying it for review and whatnot. But I think I would personally pass on this Rey Mysterio. Now, if it had the Spider-Man graphics, it would probably be a must cop. But yeah, I'm just, I'm just putting all the different info out there, and you guys can decide for yourself. Next up, we have the Ultimate Edition Series 21. Now, the only figure we know about from this wave is going to be Cody Rhodes, and this is a must-cop, I think. We're going to be getting that Supreme-style jacket that Jazzwares attempted. Mattel is now going to try their hand at it. His entrance jacket is actually going to be sculpted, and so this is a must-cop for me. I think when this goes up for pre-order, I will be buying a few of these. I love Cody Rhodes. I love this gear. The entrance ja jacket's going to be immaculate. He is coming with a new weight belt. It remains to be seen if he's going to get a new boot mold. It looks like they're sculpting new boot mold on here, but he also has knee pads, so I guess we'll have to see about that as well, but everyone's going to be wanting this. If you had the first go-around or you skipped out on the first go-around, the Mattel Creations exclusive, a lot of people skipped out on that and they were regretting it, so this one is an easy cop, I think. Absolute must-buy right here, especially if you like Cody. This is the one to buy, man. I think it's going to be significantly better than the Mattel Creations exclusive as well, so that's another point of emphasis, but having that George Washington style entrance jacket in the white is going to be ridiculous. I am highly anticipating this figure. This is an easy cop, but also in Ultimate Edition Series 21, there's supposed to be a Kevin Owens and a Sami Zayn. We don't know what they look like yet, but Collector's Insider did say that Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn were going to be in this wave, and hopefully those look good as well. I would imagine that by WrestleMania, if we don't already know about the figures, they will be revealing those to us and showcasing maybe their prototypes or whatever the hell they are. We should be seeing these figures that I'm really excited about. So Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, they should be ridiculous, man. I can't wait to see exactly what those guys look like, but those are going to be must cop in my opinion as well. But I guess it remains to be seen. Can't really say it just yet because we don't know exactly what they look like, but if I was just sure firing on potential, I would say buy the Kevin Owens and the Sami Zayn as well. Next up, guys, we do have the best of Ultimate Edition Charlotte Flair. For me personally, this is a skip unless you missed out on the first go around. I mean, that's kind of what it is. If you already have this, there's no reason to buy this figure. I do know that it goes for crazy prices on the aftermarket. Plane just flew by and it was really loud, so I do apologize if it picked some of that up. But this is a... You could skip this. You could skip this Charlotte Flair if you already have it. If you def if you missed out on it, definitely go grab it, though. And then we have the other half of the Best of Ultimate Editions. It's going to be the updated tan and butterfly joints of the Hollywood Hulk Hogan. And this is another must-buy. It's pinless. It has the updated tan. It's still not accurate on the weight belt, but I just don't see how you can skip this figure if you're a Hulk Hogan guy or what have you. This is going to be an easy purchase right here for me. This is a beautiful figure. I'm definitely going to be grabbing this one. This Ultimate Edition Hollywood Hulk Hogan is beautiful. And then Collector's Insider also said that the next best of wave is going to be The Rock and Batista. So the next greatest hits or best of Ultimate Edition series is going to be The Rock and Batista here. Because Batista, I have a lot of that figure, so I personally am going to be passing on this figure. No reason for me to grab this. If you guys missed out, it's similar to the Charlotte. If you missed out the first go-around, definitely go ahead and grab it. But it's definitely not must-have. And then you also have the Rock figure. Now, it's going to depend, I guess, on which version of the Rock it's going to be. I don't imagine it's going to be the Attitude Era version because we just kind of got that Legends version that's very similar to that. And I don't see them redoing that right after that Legends Target exclusive. But it could be the Bald Rock figure that came in the same set. I think it was Ultimate Edition Series 10 with John Cena. And if it's that one, I would also skip over it. It's outdated. I just don't see why you'd want that. It's for 2013. And I don't know. Again, if you already have it, no reason to purchase it for sure. However, I don't know. I just It bothers me. It's a modern rock that doesn't have his modern Brahma Bull tattoo. You know, the realistic big half-sleeve version of that Brahma Bull. And since there's that, I would just skip over it. I, I don't know. Just something about that bothers me. I would love to see them add in that tattoo, but I don't think that's the case here. So um, I, I would be passing on this. I would be definitely be passing on this rock version here, unless you just really, really want it or you're a big rock guy. I would personally pass on the Ultimate Edition Rock figure. Now we're moving in to our Elites, man. That is all the Ultimate Editions that we know about so far, I do believe. I may have missed out on one. If I did, let me know down in the comment section below. But now we're diving into Elite Series 108. And for me, we're diving into the LA Knight figure right here, man. I feel like you must cop this. I guess if you don't care about current superstars, right? You don't care about current guys or you don't care about the main roster, you know, just LA Knight in general. Definite skip. Don't buy figures of guys you don't care about for sure. 
However, I know a lot of people are going to be wanting this figure. For me, I'm definitely copping this. We do have his basic figure. We have two different basics, but the Elite's going to come over it. Even though this is not the best Elite, man, it's really not. I think that he could be much better. We're going to put this guy in surgery and fix him up. I am definitely going to be copying this one because we're going to fix him up a little bit and do some cool stuff with our LA Knight figure and definitely head swap it with the basic. Then we have Omos. For me, I would pass on this. I think his Elite 97 figure definitely suffice. If you guys have that Elite 97, I personally wouldn't upgrade from the Elite 97. I think that this is a good figure. I think it looks just like the character. It's got the, you know, the white wrist tape and the updates and stuff like that, but I don't think it's worth the update there. I would just keep my Elite 97 and that's where I stand on the Omos Elite 108. We also have Brock Lesnar here. Would also pass on this. This is an easy pass for me personally. You know, it's got the honeycomb mouth face. If you have the Elite 96 Brock or the Royal Rumble Elite Brock or the Ultimate Edition Brock, man, this, this is just easy skips for me. There's no point in buying this figure right here. I don't really care for the entrance denim jacket. I don't care for the honeycomb mouth head sculpt that we've discussed. It's an easy pass. It just is easy pass. Don't don't even look at this Brock Lesnar personally for me. Yeah, I'm not grabbing it. And I like Brock Lesnar figures. I like collecting his figures, but this one's just not for me. We also have Terry Gordy here. Flashback Collectors Unite. I think this is going to be a solid figure right here, man. I like the executioner head sculpt and the entrance garb and everything going on with it. I think this is a cop. I think this is going to be one of those figures that kind of comes and goes. And then, you know, when people try to come back to it years later, it's not going to be one of those that's going to be like, you know, very widely available. So you may want to purchase it for that reason, but if you have no tie to the character, if you don't care about the flashback here, definite pass. But I personally, I'm going to be copying this. Personally, I will be copying this one, but I know it's not for everyone. And then we also have Bronson Reed. Pass. This is a pass again. His Bam Bam Bigelow Elite is better, and I honestly would search that one out over this one. It's got that entrance jacket, which is better. I, th I like the gear better on his previous Elite. He's also missing his chest tattoo, man. So there's really, I don't know, I just would not purchase this. This is not one that I would have on my radar for sure this year. He also has these big knee pads on here. In every shape and form, I think this is a worse version than his previous figure, so I would definitely skip this Bronson Reed Elite. And then we also have Chelsea Green here. I would definitely cop this. I know she's had some basic figures in the past, and I'm not too sure about this head sculpt, but I like this version. I like the Chase version better than the regular edition. I'm still scared that she's not going to have boot cut. If she doesn't have boot cut, that's going to be terrible. However, I still like the figure enough to purchase it, and we haven't had an Elite of her. She's very prominent on television. Definitely going to be buying it, but certainly going to have to upgrade this in some ways. And then we have Elite Series 109 moving forward, and it's going to be Shinsuke Nakamura, Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins, Dominic Mysterio, Damian Priest, and Bailey. This is a loaded set. I mean, just a totally loaded set. You have a lot of people that are prominently featured on television. The Shinsuke Nakamura, it is an updated Shinsuke. However, the gear's not the best. I mean, this is kind of up to you personally. I don't really care for the gears that we have here, the body suits, but he is going to come with his entrance garb, and it is an updated head skull. I like the head sculpt and I like some things going on. We'll just have to wait and see how this looks in hand. The Bailey figure is a damage control Bailey, one that we've been waiting on forever. She is the Royal Rumble winner, so this is a this is a must buy for me personally. Been waiting on an updated Bailey for a very long time. Damian Priest, we kind of I mean low key already had a, a Judgment Day Damian Priest, but I would argue this is better here. He's got a very Undertaker looking vibe here. The Judgment Day gear in the black and purple, great updated head sculpt. This is a great looking Damian Priest, and it's an updated Judgment Day version. So I would say definitely getting this one. And then we also have Dominic Mysterio now. They, it kind of stinks because his Elite 105 was so good and I would say definitely cop that. But now I would say skip the Elite 105 and just wait for the Elite 109. But then again, this is going to be waiting a while now. So I don't know. I would say get the Elite 105 and then sell it once the Elite 109 is coming because it's going to come with this flannel shirt, this bandana updated Dominic Mysterio is very sweet. I do like this Dominic a lot. And then we also have Seth Rollins, who is going to come with the new world championship. And for that reason, that's an automatic copy. Should have the new formula, the gold tights, new head sculpt. Should be a lot of great things going on right here with this Seth Rollins. I'm very excited for the Seth Rollins. You get the new championship. That's about it right there, man. I mean, that that right there makes it a must cop. So I would say definitely pick up the Seth Rollins figure if you guys are on the fence about it. Getting that new championship, it's always great to have first time in the line championships and updating your figure. So hopefully this Seth Rollins, hopefully the gold looks good as, as well, man. But I would say definite cop on the Seth Rollins new Elite 109. And then we're diving into Elite 110. And apparently, according to Collector's Insider, Elite 110 is going to be Roman Reigns, Austin Theory, 
Butch, which is now Pete Dunne. Of course, he switched back to Pete Dunne, who is the chase figure, which I'm really excited about. Rhea Ripley, and then we do have our Pretty Deadly, and then we have the Bruno San Martino that was canceled in the Greatest Best of Legends wave. But this Rhea Ripley is a must-cop. This is a must-cop. I'm hoping we get an Ultimate Edition of her very, very soon. Maybe an Ultimate Edition Series 22 we will get a Rhea Ripley with the new championship and whatnot, but... This is a must cop. I think the white gear is sick as hell. They said that her her shoulders and her musculature is going to be bigger and more accurate to Rhea Ripley. It's in all white gear. You don't have to ask me twice. This is a must have. We have Pretty Deadly here. Personally, not big fans of the guys. If you want to, you know, update your rosters and stay up to date and whatnot and have these guys, you know, that's a must grab. But for me personally, I don't know. I would probably skip over these. I guess it would kind of depend on what parts and stuff like that. But head sculpts do look good. It definitely looks like the characters on TV. We'll just have to see how that goes. If you're pretty deadly fans or whatnot, if you don't collect the, the current roster, then it's an easy skip. We have the Bruno San Martino. Haven't seen him since Elite 25, and that was a long time ago. I would cop this simply for the podium, man. Even if you don't even care about the Bruno, the, the podium itself is sick as hell, and you could use it for a lot of stuff. That Hall of Fame plaque you could use for some setups and some displays, so... I would cop it simply for the podium stand. And then we also have Pete Dunn here, who again is the chase figure. Easy cop, but I'm also a massive Pete Dunn fan. So you put one of my favorite wrestlers or a guy that I really enjoy, you put him in all white gear, must purchase. Double jointed Pete Dunn is an automatic cop for me personally, but hopefully this figure will check all the boxes. I guess it's going to come with that entrance shirt, I think, the entrance shirt jersey right there with the cricket bat, I guess. And that looks very fun. I think that would be really fun if they do include that. And it looks like they are gonna going to. Or maybe it's an interchangeable head sculpt or something. I'm not sure. But I like the Pete Dunn figure. But again, if you're not a current roster or elite collector. Or you don't care about you know current day talent. Then it's an easy pass. But then we are moving our way. And we don't know what Austin Theory and Roman Reigns look like. But I imagine the Roman Reigns. I think it's going to be finally we're going to see that new tapered beard fade. That we've been waiting on forever. I would guess. I'm just making a guess here. I would guess that it's going to be a promo Roman Reigns with a man bun, a faded, nice beard, you know, one that I've been begging for for years and years upon time. And it's going to come with the Undisputed Championship in like a promo gear like tracksuit. That's what I'm going to guess for Elite 110 Roman, but we'll have to see about that. And then Austin Theory, it'll probably be his WrestleMania gear versus John Cena, and it'll probably come with the United States Championship. And again, I'm just making a guess. I think his gear was some gold or something like that, but that's just my guesstimate there. And then we do have the Monday Night Wars Elite Series 1. I know a lot of people have already gotten this set off eBay and different sites, but I would say that this full line, I don't really care for the Scott Hall in this line, but the rest of this line is pretty much must-have. I like the Taker, you know, not my favorite head skull, but I do like it. I love the Austin. It's a repeat of the Defining Moments. You get some really good stuff here with the Austin 316 shirt with the back graphic, a hat. You get the camo jacket. Lots of cool stuff going on with the Austin. That's an easy cop for me. The Undertaker, it is what it is. I mean, if you want to build the Lex Luger, then you have to buy the full wave, unfortunately, but maybe it's a, a chance where you can buy the full wave, get the Lex Luger, and then sell off some parts, but I don't know, man. I really wasn't feeling the Scott Hall in this wave. You know, I can, I'll leave it up to you there. I just think that the, the jacket's lacking a lot. I don't like the denim color. He looks like he's a bit short. So lots of weird things going on there. I really like the Hulk Hogan, though. He comes with that new torso. He's got, you know, the all-black attack. He's got a, a terrible weight belt, but I still like the head sculpt there it, coming in this new wave. There's some really cool things coming about this new wave, but also there's some things that I'm not too excited for. So we'll have to see about that when it comes, but... I don't know. I think this set is pretty solid. Again, you're going to have to just pick and choose which characters you hold true and which ones you want and dislike. And I don't know. Maybe there's some ways to fix these up. But moving into series number two, we do have Kevin Nash. We have Unmasked Rey Mysterio with his overalls, which is sick as hell. Been waiting on that version of Rey Mysterio for a very long time. We have a Triple H, which again, very skippable. I'd say personally for the Triple H, we already got his DX version in that gear. I just don't know if you'd really want that. I think the, you know, the green and black is much better than the red and black. Fake Diesel, another one where it's like, do you really need a fake version of Diesel here? I don't know. But then, of course, you do. I would say if you had to break down the set, the Kevin Nash and the Rey Mysterio are must cop. But the fake Diesel and the Triple H, I don't know. I'd probably be on the fence about. But again, you got to build the freaking referee Teddy Long figure. So it kind of makes it difficult there. But the Teddy Long is must-have for me. I'd, I'd say you have to have that Teddy Long. That's going to be the second referee figure that we're going to be getting in 2024. We, of course, are getting another one that we're going to touch on here in a moment in the SummerSlam Elite Wave in John Cone. But 
This is a difficult set. I would cop the Rey Mysterio and the Kevin Nash, but I don't know. Maybe you can go aftermark and get that Teddy Long, but it's a very exciting set. It makes it really hard with Build-A-Figure sets because if you want the Build-A-Figure, you're going to have to cop the whole set, and that's kind of how they get you there, and it helps sales and whatnot, but maybe there's a way you can get it in the aftermarket or something like that, but I'm very much looking forward to the Rey, very much looking forward to the Kevin with the removable watch, something that we've been waiting on. I know we got it in the Undertaker 107 line, but still, just some different things there. You guys can let me know your thoughts down down in the comment section below. But we also have the Monday Night Wars Elite Series 3, and we know three of the different figures in this set. Now, we're going to be getting the Disciple from the NWO, and a lot of people, like, did <laughs> do we really need this? Do we really need Brutus from the NWO? I don't know here. However, it does look like it has some really cool stuff on. I think it's going to depend on the paint apps and stuff like that, how good the figure is, but it is a very interesting development here. I like the belt design and everything like that. I, I, I'm intrigued to see how this figure comes out, but I don't know. It'll, it'll be definitely be an interesting one. And then we do have Harlem Heat here. We have two different versions. You have the Harlem Heat in the black, and then you have the Harlem Heat Chases in the blue, which is very clean. I love it. I think that's awesome. But we don't know what the last figure in the set is just yet. I'm hoping that it's going to be really good, and I'm pretty sure we don't know the Build-A-Figure just yet for this Series 3. But I'm hoping that, you know, the rest of the set is really awesome. We'll have to see. We haven't seen Harlem Heat in a long, long time. So I could definitely see people wanting to cop the Harlem Heat. I would personally cop the Harlem Heat. But again, when you get into these sets, it's very difficult because the only way you can build the figure is to buy the full set. So I don't know. You know, maybe that'll be up to personal belief and what you think there. But we are getting the Disciple. We are getting Harlem Heat as the chase. And we'll have to see who the Build-A-Figure is. You know, I guess that'll kind of depend. If it's a terrible Build-A-Figure that you give no Fs about then I guess you could completely skip over the wave and whatnot. But I know a lot of people are going to be completionist on this line because it is Monday Night Wars, and a lot of people, you know, find that to be very nostalgic and tie into that. So I am very much looking forward to the Monday Night Wars line hitting in 2024 and all those Ultimate Editions that we're also getting. But now we're diving into the SummerSlam Elites of 2024, and we do have this Kane. I'd say this is a cop for Kane. You could use this for your Ruthless Aggression set. You could also use it for your later Ruthless Aggression set. We haven't seen this since Elite Series 4. This is pretty much a re-release of the Elite 4 Kane. It's going to have double jointed jacked arms, which I'm really excited about. Hopefully the head sculpt's good and whatnot, but I am very much copying this Kane figure. And then we also have our American Hero Lex here, and he looks damn good. I think we saw him back in Elite 25, I think, or something like that. Maybe it was like Elite. I want to say it was Elite 25. Maybe Elite 30. We saw this version of Lex Luger before, but it is slightly repainted. I like this head sculpt. I like the gear. Very toyetic, very major glory looking, so I, I'd say this is a cop, and of course, this is a Build-A-Figure wave again, and I like Build-A-Figure waves, even though, like I said, you have to you have to buy the full wave in order to build the figure, but surely the Build-A-Figure usually is pretty good, and so we do have John Cone as the Build-A-Figure there, but we also have Undertaker. He's got the wild eyes and face, which is a very unique thing. He's got like the laughing or the yelling head sculpt from his match with Brock, which is a very cool wave here. I'm hoping that the jacked arms on this new Undertaker don't look weird on the skinny torso, but I do look forward to the Undertaker figure here. And then we also have X-Pac rounding out our set. And I know a lot of people have been waiting on this version of X-Pac in this attire, so I think people are going to be copying it for that reason. Now, I thought initially this was going to be like a SummerSlam 97, I think it was. Maybe it was 97. It may have been 99 or something like that. Versions of X-Pac and Kane, but then that didn't end up happening, so that kind of disappointed me. I was hoping this would be a 2004 Undertaker when they announced this, and I thought this would be like a 97 or 99 versions of X-Pac and Kane, and that ended up not taking place, but the figures still look cool, and I say I would cop this full wave just for the John Cone. John Cone's awesome, so... Having this modern referee here with the WWE logo for John Cone will be really cool. And, you know, we've been begging for referee figures for years, so this is going to be something that a lot of people are excited about. And now we're diving into Legend Series 22, and we are starting off with our Ichiban Hogan here. Very cool versions of Hulk Hogan. You have these new head sculpts going and everything like that. If you're not a Hulk Hogan guy or you have no, you know, skin in the game here, easy skip, but I know there's a lot of Hulk Hogan collectors out there that are going to want this, so I could see people wanting this one for sure, but I don't know. It just wouldn't be the version that I would personally want, so I think I would pass on it. We also have Captain Lou. This is an easy cop for me. Uh, you know, this is a guy that we've been waiting for forever, and I think this is a cop. I like all the cloth goods. It looks like he's getting, getting a really cool treatment here. I'm really excited to see how those shoes are. I'm intrigued to know if I can actually put that on somebody else. Maybe I can put it on some John Cena's or something, so I'm also looking forward to that, but Captain Lou's a must-cop for me personally. Then we have Muhammad Ali. I would skip over this. I would personally go 
go get the Ultimate Edition Muhammad Ali, but I know a lot of people missed out on the Ultimate Edition, so if you missed out on that Ultimate, maybe you want to grab the Elite, but I personally would just spend the extra, I think, to get the Ultimate Edition 2-pack Muhammad Ali, because you can mix around some different stuff. I mean, it's going to come with pretty much the exact same stuff, but some there's differences there, so I don't know. Ultimate Edition, I would say take it over the Elite, and a lot of times the Elite are better than the Ultimate, but in this case, I'd say personally, I would say that the Ultimate Edition is better than the Elite in this case specifically. And then rounding out our set, we do have the Sultan, and this is a cop, very toyetic, a character we've been waiting on forever. Look at that cloth cape. Legend sets have been killing it with their cloth goods, man. I mean, this is insane. 2024 is the year of the Legends, and apparently down the line this year, we do have more Legends coming. Apparently, there's two more Hulk Hogan's coming in the Legends line that we have not yet seen, and so I can't put those in the video today, but the Sultan is a must cop, I'd say. That's a, you know, that's a first time in the line for the gimmick there. Definitely want to see the Sultan here in the collection. And then finishing it up, we are going to finish up with the Rocky Maivia Family 3-pack or the Maivia Legacy 3-pack here. And we do get High Chief Peter Maivia. We get this really unique look of rock. And then we do get a Rocky Johnson, which is updated. It's got better... Uh, it's got a better skin tone on it. It's got the cloth robe. It's got new boot sculpt. It's got loafers. This is a must cop here. The, the watch and the bracelets and just the tattoos and the entrance shirts and stuff. This is a beautiful set. I'm very much looking forward to this. I can't wait to see this and review this because you get that casual rock, which is amazing. I love when I get superstars or wrestlers in their non-wrestling gear. You know, they're just chilling backstage. They're chilling on the beach in this case, or they're walking around. This is a beautiful version of The Rock. This may be my favorite Rock figure that Mattel's ever made, so we'll have to see about that. But the High Chief looks amazing as well. Love all the tattoo decals going on. And then we also have the Rocky, which looks really awesome. I think it's an upgrade from his collector's edition. We saw what, back in like Elite 80 or 81 or something like that. So this is an easy easy cop for me personally, but I know it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but we will have to see about that. However, that is not, I guess, technically, that's the last images of the figures we have, but we also have a look at some Elite Greatest Hits figures coming from a Collector's Insider, and that is going to be these four right here. We have Hulk Hogan, Randy Orton, Rey Mysterio, and AJ Styles. I'm actually really intrigued to know what versions these are, and again, we may not see these for a while. There's no telling when they're going to announce this. I don't know when the next show's going to be. I know they're going to probably do a February gallery. They're probably going to do a March gallery, but they may not actually show these figures to us until WrestleMania. So it could be a while. It could be, you know, two, three months before we see these figures. I guess it would be two months before we see these figures. And so we will have to see about that. But the Collector's Insider says that the greatest hits is going to be these figures. And we fantasy booked it. I did do a video diving into this and what they could be and what I hope they are. So you guys can go check that out. But there's plenty of figures for these to choose from. There's a ton of Hulk Hogan's, Randy Orton's, Rey Mysterio's, AJ Styles to choose from. So hopefully they will be good. But... I don't have high hopes for the AJ Styles because it's probably going to be in his older torso. You know, they're not going to newly tool something unless they, I mean, they could do, they could kind of change the system if they used, you know, if they did greatest hits and then they plugged in the Elite 104 figure, but then changed the tights to the old figure, I guess. I don't see that happening though. We'll have to see, but yeah, I, I'm not going to hold my breath on that, but that is every figure I do believe in Elite and Ultimate form that we know is coming in 2024 so far. Now, again, these things could change. There could be some things going on there. It could, you know, one thing could change here and there, whatnot, or whatever. And I could be missing a couple figures here, but I'm pretty sure I did uh, check off every single figure that we know about that's coming that's not yet released in 2024. But you guys can let me know down in the comment section below. And, of course, there's plenty more. This is not every figure we're going to be getting. This is just what we know about so far. And there's plenty of figures that are going to be coming. I mean, Elite... We're on Elite 107. I think they usually get about six or seven sets out in a year. So Elite 111, 12, 13 should also hit in 2024. At least it should be close. So we'll have to see. And we don't know what the hell's in those waves. So we'll have to see about that, man. But anyways, that is pretty much going to wrap up all of the buyer pass news here for today, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support as always. But that is going to wrap up the video, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.